Oh, okay, so Yu-Gi-Oh! is so broken. I, it may not be broken, but it's like no longer as stable as it used to be. And you could say it's become more and more chaotic, and with the introduction of cards and t card types like Synchro and uh, XC's Pendulum, Link cards, uh, Link cards, so ridiculous. Uh, not to mention the new types that they've added. Uh, th they're not necessarily new, uh, but stuff like psychic type monsters that, that have been added over the years. It's just become a mess, and it's not it's it's not as fun anymore because every year they seem to just break previous uh, decks or previous strategies in favor of these new new cards, which is it's just unnecessary. We don't need these new cards. It's 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 ridiculous, really. It, it's it's also made it hard for uh, players to keep up. I, I remember uh, uh, I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh uh, for a couple of years after they introduced uh, XC's cards. Uh, I, I stopped because um, I, I just stopped getting cards. It just became just, I, I don't know, I just moved on to other games and stuff. I actually started playing uh, Magic the Gathering around that time. Um, I do have a couple of XC's cards though, so I, I, I did master XC's cards. Well, not necessarily master, but I, I got used to those. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Uh, they, 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 it's just it's just unnecessary. They don't need to keep adding these. It's, it's made it hard for players to keep up. And uh, like I said, I stopped playing with uh, XC's cards for a couple. Uh, I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh a couple years after they added XC's cards. Uh, and when I finally uh, decided to give these XC's cards a try, there was already CXC's cards and Pendulum cards, so I had no idea what was going on at all. Uh, it, it's 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 kind of crazy. Uh, so as a result, I, I basically had to completely relearn uh, how to play this entire game, even though I've been playing since I was like five, six years old. Uh, so when I finally got used to the pendulum summoning, or, or uh, well, I, I didn't necessarily get used to it. When I finally got used to uh, uh, pendulum cards being used against me in games like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations or uh, some of those other um, games you can get for your PS4 or your Xbox One or whatever. Uh, when I finally got used to those being used against me, they added even more. Uh, and, I mean, I basically didn't even have time to breathe before they they added this stuff. It's it's ridiculous. I I can't. I I actually can't keep up. It's 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 crazy. It's it's upsetting. It's they're adding more card types all the time for no reason for no real reason. Uh, it, and it doesn't work. It, it's upsetting fans. It's breaking the game. or Well, it's not necessarily breaking the game, but it's kind of making things unbalanced until the cards catch up, the new cards catch up. Uh, and it's 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 just ridiculous. I, I hate it so much. And the actual... The, the thing is, though, they, it's actually not hard for them to catch up with these new cards because guess what? They're not new cards. They're actually just reprinting... Um, not necessarily reprinting, but they're kind of slightly redesigning some of the old classic cards like uh, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Dark Magician and, and stuff like that. They're just kind of redesigning them and giving them new effects and a, di a slightly different color uh, like the Link cards are like a darker blue than a, than a Ritual card or something like that. Uh, so it's they're, they're not using new art at least. Which, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not, it's not that good. It's, it's kind of terrible to do that. Anyway, uh, just if you look at a game mat from uh, about three or four years ago and compare it to today's game mat, there's a huge, huge difference. There's several new zones, and it's basically doubled in size. I mean, come on, it's like, it's like doubled in size. I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating, because they've added the pendulum zones, and, and now there's a, a special zone for the link cards or something like that. I still ain't even used to link cards, by the way. It's, it's, I, I, I almost don't even want to get into that. Uh, so there's several new zones. It's basically doubled in size, and, and any new player is going to look at this game, Matt, and immediately say to themselves, "This game is far too complicated." I'm just gonna play something else. It, it just looks too complicated. Is what I'm gonna say. They're gonna say this game looks way too complicated. I'm just gonna play something else. Uh, uh, so t look at the rule book now. If you look at the rule book now in, in the same scenario three or four years ago, and then look at today's uh, rule book, it's I'm pretty sure it's doubled in size too. I, I can't be sure because I haven't uh, seen one of those rule books in a while. Uh, the last one I saw had um, Synchro and XCs, but it didn't have Pendulum or Link cards or anything like that. And it, they're just, they're updating this game so frequently, it's hard to keep up. 
I don't, and I, don't, I honestly don't think a, a, like a five year old can easily grasp grasp this game anymore like like it used to when when it first came out because when it first came out and well not necessarily when it first came out I was five but um, when I was five the game was like three years old or something like that I was able to easily grasp this game there wasn't fancy stuff not I don't even I don't even want to say it's fancy it's just ridiculous it sucks so much. That that they just keep introducing more and more stuff, and 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 I was able to keep up kind of fairly well, and then they added synchro, and I was like, I'm not sure about this, and then uh, I started getting used to it, and I was like, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I actually like this. Uh, but then as soon as that happened, they added XC's cards, and it's gotten even more ridiculous. I'm like, okay, so now I got to get used to this. Um, and I played for a, a little bit, and then I decided, you know what, I'm just I, I I'm, I'm just gonna stop playing this game for a while. So I did. And when I came back, you, you already know, I already told you, they added Pendulum and everything else, and it just got, it just got ridiculous. And just, it, 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 A five-year-old can't easily grasp this game anymore, and that's that's just a big shame, because Yu-Gi-Oh! It, it used to be this the, the easiest-to-learn trading card game that's out there, and, and now I'm pretty sure it's... it's I'm pretty sure it's lost that edge. I'm pretty sure it's it's become it's it's not become the worst, uh, the worst to grasp a game. Yeah, I still think Magic the Gathering is harder to learn, uh, especially since it's like for people 13 and up. But uh, obviously, you can you can easily grasp grasp Magic the Gathering if if you, you know it's Magic the Gathering isn't as complicated. But I, I don't I don't want to compare these two games. That that's not the point of this. The point is Yu-Gi-Oh is it's it's broken. It's not broken per se, but it's just it's. It's no longer fun. It's not. It's not worth it anymore. It's. It's gotten too complicated. There's too many card types. It's. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's. It's gotten so ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, I, I think that's gonna do it. I, um, I, I'm. I'm done with this. Um, uh, I, I do. I do still enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, but I, I'm. I just refuse to play with pendulum cards or these linked cards, whatever the heck they're called, because it, it's gotten so ridiculous and it's. Uh, I'm I'm just not gonna play with those anymore. I I may play with XC's cards, but even then, I really don't like to do that because it's just it, it's they've added too much. It, it, and it all started when when they started adding Synchro. I guess Synchro was so well received that Konami or Shonen Jump or whoever uh, Konami yeah, that's Konami. Uh, they I guess they decided you know what this is good. People people uh, people liked Synchro cards, so let me just add. Uh, another card type and then and then like okay let's add another one on top of that oh no let's add another one after that and then he just kept going and uh, I, th I think actually the real big problem is they started basing it too much around the, the anime itself because the anime has got to do something new every season or else it just gets stale and it just gets it gets kind of ridiculous and redundant uh, that's not the same thing for uh, card games though card games don't have to do that uh, just look at Magic the Gathering as an example again. I don't like to compare these, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, Magic the Gathering it doesn't add, it doesn't have a show tied to it. It has a lore tied to it, uh, but this lore doesn't have to add. It adds something new, but it doesn't have to do something big and grand like add an entirely new card. Although they did add Saga cards recently, but Magic the Gathering is doing it right. They're not just adding a card, a card type every every year or so. They're, they're, Magic the Gathering is doing it right, but. Again, it's, I'm not trying to compare these two. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just adding something over and over and over and over and over again. And it, there's no real reason why they should be doing this, other than the fact that they're trying to keep up with the anime, which is going way faster than the cards are. Uh, so, uh, it, it, it's, it all, it's, it all, it's, it's the anime's fault, I think. Uh, but it's, it's probably also the fact that Synchro Cards did well and, and they wanted to, to build on that success and keep adding more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Uh, so it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably rambling now, so I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, that's my thoughts on this, and uh, I, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so go ahead and comment down below uh, what your thoughts are on, on all these new card types like X, XC's, Pendulum, and, and Linked Cards. And that's going to do it for the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.